Again, this is I am a singer, eternal voice. Welcome to my YT channel. Okay, here we go again. Go back to business. We will solve the energy change, free energy change of the reaction. Okay, so calculate the free energy change for the reaction shown below at 25 degrees Celsius. So we have the reaction of hydrogen gas plus chlorine gas to produce hydrochloric acid. Okay? Like that, and balance the chemical equation or the chemical reaction first before proceeding. Okay, this is the first step. And then in here, uh, we are not really sure if it is a reversible or irreversible reaction, reversible reaction, reversible reaction, or whatever, two by two, two. We can identify the kind of reaction after we will solve the change of free energy through this data of enthalpy changes of the reactants and the products and also the entropy changes of the reactants and the products. So, let's go now for the solution proper. Oh my gosh, but before that, the Bluetooth device is ready to power. Wow. But before that, I would like to, to drink my coffee to help me active. Okay, energy to do this uh, live stream. Okay, my gosh. <laughs> Wait for a while, two to three minutes. I'll come back later. Hello guys, the first thing to do is to identify uh, what is being asked on the problem. Okay, so this is free energy change. So if this is free energy change, that could mean delta G. The right? device is connected successfully. Okay. Oh my gosh, wait for a while, huh? May inom sa ko coffee. Wow. Oh my gosh. Like that. So, here we have the H2 gas. We have an enthalpy of we have an enthalpy of 0 kJ per mol. Oh my gosh, really? The entropy is positive 131 J per mol Kelvin and in chlorine gas we have 0 kJ per mol and in the entropy is plus 223 joules per mole Kelvin and the HCl gas negative 92 kilojoules per mole and positive 187 joules per mole. Okay? So use the equation in the second law thermodynamics again and again and again and again. Okay? Something like that. Okay. Guys, it's true pala ha, na in the second law thermodynamics there are two kinds of formulas. We have the first form or formula equal to the Gibbs free energy delta G is equal to the change in internal energy delta U minus the temperature times the change in entropy. And it could also be uh, rephrased into this formula. Okay, Gibbs free energy is equal to the change in enthalpy minus temperature times the change in entropy. So as you can notice, how did it appear like that? So meaning to say this Internal energy is equal to the heat in what particular thermodynamic process that we equalize these two quantities, the delta H and the delta U. So, this is in the first one, which is the isochoric and isovolumetric thermodynamic process. Because it's in there, we have no change in volume. So, we assume, not really assume, theoretically and technically discovered by our scientists that the change in volume is constant somewhere along the way. So if we multiply the volume to the pressure, then automatically our work will become zero. Okay? In that way, from the first law of thermodynamics, connected there, delta U is equal to Q minus W. Since our W is work, so automatically delta U is equal to U. Oh, delta U is equal to Q. That's why there are two equations for this. 
Okay, in terms of internal energy and in terms of enthalpy. Okay, now you will say, sir, Q is not enthalpy. It's just the same. That's a heat content of the system. Okay, it's just, but the enthalpy is more on the heat energy transferred from one point to another, something like that, or from the high temperature to the lower temperature or to a very hot environment to the cold environment. But it's just the same because that's also heat, Q. Okay, but this Q, it doesn't necessarily mean that the heat is being transferred. It is heat alone. Okay, inherent, just like me, I'm sitting in my chair. I have already the accumulated heat as I sit in this chair. It doesn't mean that I transferred my heat to the floor, to the other, you know, there in the kitchen or in the, my bed, but I am here only, so the heat is not really moving, something like that. It's really not transferred. That is really heat. But the enthalpy focusing on the transferred already, okay, Transfer, transferred to one another, to one point to another. So that's the only difference. The state, S-T-A-T-E, the state is just the difference. But inherently it's just the same it's governed with temperature gradient or temperature differences okay like that okay so it's very clear huh? enthalpy and q is just the same okay the only difference is the mode how it is being uh, transferred like this like that blah 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 so, so that's basically the same okay so that's why we have two formulas. At first, I didn't go, but I dig it up. Ah, it's gonna be like that. So the work will be equal to zero because we assume, not really assume technically, we have an environment that has a constant volume in a thermodynamic process. So class, you have to memorize the different thermodynamic processes already so that you can also inject that in the second law, in the first law, zero law, like that, blah, 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 so on, so and in the third law of thermodynamics. So it will be easy for you to adopt uh, the applicability of this formulas to be used to solve the problems. Something like that, okay? So you will connect that for laws, okay? Something like that. Because in here, this is a law of thermodynamics that, but, it connects to the first law, something like that, okay? So I, ho uh, I think I was wrong, but definitely I was correct. We have two formulas for second law of thermodynamics, okay? Like that. And then some also, uh, you know, I read that the introduction of enthalpy is in the first law of thermodynamics, okay? But it, it's also introduced in the second law of thermodynamics, okay? <laughs> Maybe what they're trying to uh, emphasize is that the statement theory for the second law is the transfer of heat from the uh, hot environment to the cold environment. That's the main focus of the second law of thermodynamics, right? And then the first law is more on the conservation of energy. Okay? Like that. Oh my gosh. Uh, if the question will say like this, Blanc is a law of thermodynamics that focuses on the conservation of energy that, that states that matter can neither be created nor can be destroyed, but it can only be transformed into various forms of energy. A, zero law, thermodynamics. B, first law of thermodynamics. C, third law of thermodynamics. C, D, fourth law of thermodynamics. So, fourth law of thermodynamics, there's no, so, A, K, na siya, because there's no fourth law of thermodynamics. Okay, so your choices left will be A, B, and C na. So the answer will be, uh, B, first law of thermodynamics. It talks about the transformation transformation of different energies. Okay? Like that. So maybe it will come out in the theory. Okay? In the board examination or any science examination, something like that. Marok kayo ang mga anotikbuhat sa questions. Okay? Like that. Because they feel that the students take it for granted because sometimes we don't read the introduction, right? On the topic to topic. We go directly to the problem solving. I mean, if we are engineers, our engineering students before, we go directly to the problem solving. We don't go to the uh, explanation, blah, 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 and the introduction. Because we keep, we are very tired to do it sometimes, really honestly, okay? So that's why we keep on picking up the questions there <laughs> in the introduction, like blah, 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 so and so. Okay? Aside from the trivia, trivia meaning the new, Trending science, scientific research, okay? Because year by year, there are evolution of new scientific discoveries and scientific research. Because science is a continuous process, 
will not stop every seconds, every minute, every hour, every month, every year. There's a possibility of a new discovery. Okay? So it will never stop. Okay? That's continuous. Okay? So that's why uh, there's a lot of science trivia. Something like that. Okay? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Then on. Go back. Okay, now, let's solve na ha, the delta H. Delta H pala siya class is equals to the delta H of formation in the reaction na standard. There's a, uh, ano siya, parang, ang tawag man? Circle, small circle at the top. Something like that. Standard change of enthalpy formation of the reaction. When you speak of reaction, that is products and the reactants, ha? Always like that. Okay. So, ganon. So, delta H. Okay. Delta H of the reaction. Uh, ganon. Okay. Uh, so, is equal to the... Uh, the product here is the hydrochloric acid in a gaseous state. Gaseous state, not in a liquid state. Huh? So, if it is in gaseous state, then we put that here. Summation of the number of moles of the HCl in a gaseous state times the delta H of formation of the HCl in a gaseous state. Something like that. Okay? And then, minus the summation. Summation meaning the, the sum. The sum of the number of moles of in a product. So you have to take it individually. Okay. Number of moles of H2 gas times delta H formation of H2 gas. Okay? okay? Like that. Gas, and then the other one, plus Sha, because this is reactant. There are two uh, compound, oh no, elements in the reactant on Sha. So summation of number of moles of chlorine gas, okay, times the delta H formation standard of chlorine gas also. So, this is our equation. It looks like very complicated, but it's very easy if you take it one by one. Okay? Like that. Just be patient in writing that up. Things. Okay? Because sometimes we are very eager to, you know, to solve for the correct answer. And then we are very, very tired to write the symbols or whatever. And then, you know, very eager. And then sometimes it will lead us to errors. Something like that. Okay? Then, substitute now for these values. Okay. The submission of number of moles of HCl in the reaction is only one. There's only one mole of HCl in the product. Right? Uh, okay. Yes. Oh my God, sorry. This is not yet balanced. We need to balance first. I forgot. See? I thought this already balanced. Because this is the first step to balance the chemical reaction and the chemical equation because we need this number of moles in the stoichiometric relationship during the calculation. Remember that one also. I'm very eager to solve the correct answer also. <laughs> I forgot to balance. I thought also it was balanced already, but be careful, ha? Really, be careful. Balance it first every time, okay? Like that. This is just only uh, not really that uh, important because this is only discussion or sharing information. But in your actual examination, you have to balance first the first step, especially involving chemical equations. Huh? Like this. Okay, so H2 gas, okay, 2 HCl, 2 chlorine, 2. You have to put only 2 <laughs> in the coefficient of HCl. Okay, balance na siya. Tingnan mo. <coughs> Sorry. Two moles of two atoms of hydrogen ha? and then chlorine gas is already two. Balance is perfect. Okay now. So we have two HCl gas times two moles of HCl gas. Kaya ito naman siya gibalance. Namutan ako natin sa enthalpy for the H. Okay? It's the HCl. Pila may enthalpy sa HCl? Negative 92. Uh -huh. Ganon. 92 kilojoules per mol. Minus the number of moles of H2 gas bilang ng siya. H2, one mole lang siya. Okay, one mole. One mole 
times the enthalpy change of H2 gas, which is zero. Oh my gosh, I love it. Zero plus number of moles of chlorine gas is uh, one also, and the enthalpy change of chlorine gas is zero. Oh my gosh, it made us easy because there's a zero values. Okay, so there's a zero values of the enthalpy formation of the reactants then automatically especially this chlorine okay chlorine and h2 gas so automatically zero shot so calculator please oh my gosh where's my calculator okay so two times 92 oh my goodness so two times 92 is equal to 184 negative, 184, and then moles cancel. Okay, so it's kilojoules. Kilojoules, ha? Huh? And then, ganun siya. Delta H formation pa ni siya, imagine. Delta H pa siya. So now we need for the entropy. So entropy, delta change of entropy standard in the reaction. We have delta S. Okay, delta S standard of the reaction is equals to the number of moles of HCl gas. The same thing, but we need to substitute it with the entropy now values. Okay, so two moles. Okay, I don't have to write that because I said it's just the same. Only we have to put the values of the entropy. Okay, 2 moles times, for the FCL, we have 187 joules per mole. Cancel, cancel the mole. And then, minus, oh, wala na lang ko ko at lentil pen. Fairness. Okay, minus, oh my gosh. Talaga, okay. Minus the H2 gas number of moles is one mole times the entropy of this, you know, H2 gas is 131, so times 131 joules per mole Kelvin. Napasya Kelvin, guys, ha? Okay, napasya Kelvin. Yun ang inumduman. Okay? Plus. 1 mole of chlorine gas times chlorine gas is 2 to 3 uh, joules per mole Kelvin. So, napasya yung Kelvin ha? Ikan sinato yun. So, ang unit of entropy always joules per Kelvin siya ha? Napasya yung temperature sa entropy at the denominator because of the fact that entropy change is equal to the heat content over the temperature sha always. Okay, inject that in your brain cells. Okay, something like that. So, let's do the mathematics, basic mathematics. So, one, so 131, okay, plus 223 is equals to, oh my goodness, negative 354. So, those are positive, so negative 354. And then this one will be a uh, negative uh, 2 times 1 is equal to plus 1. So this is also negative. Okay. Like this. So 2. Okay. 2 times 187. 374. Oh my goodness. So 374 minus 354 is equals to negative 20. Halaka. Negative 20. Uh, joules per Kelvin. Take note, class, the enthalpy of formation in the reaction is in terms of kilojoules. It doesn't agree with the units of our entropy, which is in terms of joules per Kelvin. So we have to convert either the other one or the other one also. It depends on us. But we need to convert the kilojoules to joules na lang siya para dali. Okay? So, 104,000. So negative 184,000 uh, joules. Okay? Ganon. 
and then sha. Okay, so one and eighty four Joseph. We have reduced the equation na kanisha oh. Okay. Delta G, delta H formation of the reaction minus the temperature times the change of entropy in the reaction of the formation. Something like that. Okay, and now the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius because we need the temperature, guys, for the to be multiplied by the entropy because the entropy, as I said earlier, there's a Kelvin in the denominator. Then we have to multiply that one so that it will be cancelled and the unit will become joules to agree with the unit also of the enthalpy. So you cannot add if, the, if it is not having the same unit. Okay? Like that. That's the rule, the first rule. Okay, now we need here delta G is equal to Delta H negative one eight four thousand. Okay, choose na siya, no? Okay, ganon. So temperature will be twenty five plus two seven three because this is Kelvin. As I told you, capital T is in Kelvin, not in Celsius. Okay. In second law of thermodynamics, our temperature here is Kelvin, not the Celsius. Okay. If there's Celsius, there's Fahrenheit, there's a wrong kind, then you have to convert that to Kelvin. Something like that. Okay. So twenty five plus two seven three. Okay. Ganon. 298 Kelvin. Okay, so multiply this 20 joules per Kelvin. Oh, negative sha. Oh my gosh, spontaneous. Okay, sarap. 184,000 plus, actually times 298 times 20 is equal to plus 184,000. Oh my goodness. This is negative. One eight nine nine sixty joules. So this is our change of free energy in a good shot. Delta G is equals to one hundred eighty nine thousand nine hundred sixty joules. Okay, this is our, but this is negative. So meaning to say this is spontaneous. So it really shows in this reaction that this is gonna be. A reversible reaction if we try to put the reverse reaction of HCl to produce H2 and Cl2 that is the composition reaction so throughout the process it will come back to its original reaction vice versa so this is reversible chemical reaction because negative Delta G mentioned spontaneous meaning to say you need to add additional heat the heat in this table is enough in order for them to become reversible chemical reaction. No need to add internal energy or chuba chu chu. No need to adjust anything. No need to adjust the temperature. No need to adjust the pressure. No need to add catalyst. Something like that because it's already reversible. Okay, it's only in the, in the irreversible you have to adjust something. Okay, that's why we have factors affecting the chemical reaction. Meaning to say you have to, to put some adjustments in order to speed up the rate of your chemical reaction, to lower your chemical reaction, to you know, slow down, something like that. So in here, no need to do that. It's really spontaneous without any additional okay, uh, inputs of other parameters, temperature, pressure, like this, blah, 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 so on. So, okay. So it's really reversible, okay? So, meaning to see, guys, the symbol will be like this, and like, I have to put now, okay? Like this, and like this. Diba? Okay. This is reversible now. Okay, sure. I think so. Oh my gosh. Okay. Really, if you decompose it, say, it will go back again on talaga siya, diba? Okay? So our answer will be negative 189 and 60 joules so uh you know that is spontaneous okay so the more this is spontaneous the more this is irreversible oh no reversible sorry kasagaran ng good irreversible okay mo nang maglibog usahay okay but you have to compute so that we are sure something like that okay okay very clear ha this is only good if there are zero, it's very too complicated. But others have also values, not only zero in the ent uh, enthalpy uh, data. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, guys. If you love this live stream, you can comment down below in the comment section. If you are not subscribing yet, my 
YT channel then you can do now if you want and you can also click the notification bell for some newest updates that I have seen here at Channel Voice. Bye bye God bless everybody. See you later.